Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working on module 2, lesson number 4. And in lesson number 4 we are converting numerical expressions into unit form as a mental strategy for multi-digit multiplication. So this is a somewhat more confusing lesson for some people who are maybe more comfortable with standard algorithm multiplication. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang you with you here, but I'm going to do some of the easier problems in each of the numbers than I would normally do to try to get you going so that you can work on the medium and more difficult problems in the homework. Okay? So let's take a look at a couple problems tonight. Um, problem number one is not going to be one of those. I'm going to go the, with the more difficult one. But the question is to circle each expression that is not equivalent to the expression in bold. So when we go to 1c, we're asked to evaluate to find out which of these are not equivalent to this. 34 times 89. Well, let's see. Let's take a look at our first one. 34 times, oh, so far so good. So 80 plus 9. Is that the same as 89? Well, sure. 80 plus 9 is the same, and we have the same operation. Once we figure out 89, we're going to multiply it by 34. I think this is the same. So we're supposed to, let's see, let me go back to my directions. We're supposed to circle each expression that is not equivalent. Okay, I'm going to draw a line through this because we are not going to circle that because that is equivalent. This is kind of confusing directions, right? It's odd that we are circling the one that is not equivalent. It sort of doesn't make sense to me. But hey, here we go. Let's take a look. How about the next one? What about 34 times 8 plus 34 times 9? Huh. Well, it's almost like they did a distributive thing here where they said, okay, 34 times part of this number and 34 uh, plus 34 times the other part of this number. But you don't understand I'm noticing something, right? If we did that, right, if we multiplied 34 times the 8, we'd be multiplying it times 8 tens, right? 34 times 8 tens and then 34 times 9 ones. And this one has 34 times 8 1s and 34 times 9 1s. So this is not the same thing. It would be if it had 34 times 80 or 8 10s, but it doesn't have that. So I'm going to go ahead and circle. That is not equivalent to the expression in bold. Let's take a look at the next one. So we've got 34 times, okay, that looks the same, 34 times 90 minus 1. Okay. Well, 90 minus 1 would be 89, and that's what we have here. So I think we're okay, actually. I'm going to go ahead and do a big scratch through that, right? This is the same as 34 times 89. It's just 89 is expressed in a different way. How about this one? 89 34s. Huh, 89 34s. So 89 34s would be would write like 89 times 34. And hey, you know, I'm noticing something. That's really the same two factors, right? And we know that multiplication is commutative, so we know that we could do our multiplication in any order, so we know we could flip these. So this is the same as 34 times 89. 89 times 34 is the same as 34 times 89 is the same as 89 34s. So that is equivalent as well. So I'm going to go ahead and scratch that and say we only found one, this one right here, where it's not equivalent to the expression we were provided. Awesome. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two. Solve using mental math. Draw a tape diagram and fill in the blanks to show your thinking. Oh, this is more complicated than I thought. All right, let's take a look. We're going to do 2C. 2C. We've got 49 times 12. Hmm, 49 times 12. So it looks to me like we could think about this. I'm, I'm looking here below, right? It looks like think how many 12s minus 1 12. Right, because if I'm looking at that, this is kind of a difficult problem, but if it were 50 copies of 12, that would be easier. So I'm going to do a couple of things here. One is I'm going to do a tape diagram, right, where we say, oh, these are all a whole bunch of copies of 12, right? We have one copy, two copies, two copies of 12, all the way out to 50 copies of 12. And if we did that, right, all we would need to do is cross out one. And we'd say, oh, yeah, everything else here, right, this whole stretch, is 49 copies of 12. All right, let's see if that works uh, in, in the blanks below. And these are a little more difficult to figure out. So uh, this is 49 12s, right? 49 copies of 12. Let's see. 49 12s is like how many 12s minus 1 12? Oh, we just said, right? It's like 50 12s minus 1. So let's go ahead and do that. 50 12s minus 1. And 50 12s minus 1, we can go ahead and do the, that math, right? 50 12s. 50 12s minus 1 12. So now we have to figure out what 50 12s is. Well, let's see. If we could do the our 5 times 12, it's 5 tens times 12 would be, let's see, 5 times 12 is 60, but that's 60 tens, not 61, 60 tens, so that's 
600, right? 60 tens is the same as 600, minus 1 times 12, oh, that's 12. And now I might be able to do the mental math of saying that that's 588. If not, well, for starters, I should be able to draw the 8 properly. If not, we might want to do that on the side, 600 minus 12. We can go figure that out, right? It's going to be 588. I'm giving you a hint. Spoiler alert. All right. So this is a way that we can take a, a somewhat more complicated problem and think of it. We can use our numbers flexibly and express 49 as 50 minus 1. 50 minus 1 turns out to be a much easier problem to do because we can do 50 times 12 using mental basic math facts and mental math. We can do the 12, and then we can go ahead and do uh, the subtraction problem to get us to our result. Awesome. Take a look at one more problem. Problem number three. Define the unit in word form and complete the sequence of problems as was done in the lesson. Oh, okay. Well, we've got to figure that out, huh? So let's see. We've got to, we've got to look at our, our problem 2B, 11 copies of 31. Hmm. So we could think about that a couple different ways, right? We could think of it as 10 copies of 31 plus 1 copy of 31. But look, they've got it the other way. They've already given us a hint. This is the same as 31, oh, 31 11s, right? 31 11s. Right, because we know it's commutative, so we know we can change the order of these two. We can express 11 times 31 as 31 times 11, or say it's in unit form 31 11s. Oh, and I see they've got this down here below. Oh, 31 11s. This is really nice. So we could do a tape diagram. We start off with our 11s. Here's our first one. Here's our second one. Dot 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 dot. Get out all the way up to 30 or 30th 11, and then oh, there's one more on the outside, right? 31 11 right there. 31 11s. All right, so we're thinking about 30 11s, 11s, times plus 1 11. Awesome. What is 30 11s? Well, let's see. 3 times 11 is 33, but that's not 3. That's 3 1s. That's 3 10s. So that would be 33 10s. So that would be 330 or 33 10s. That's 3 times 11. Oh, wait, here. I've gotten ahead of myself. Oh, my goodness. 30 11s is 30, oops, sorry, is 30 11s plus 1 11. i got to move ahead of myself. Uh-oh. Let's take a look at this. 30 times 11. 30 times 11. Now we could think of that as 3 tens times 11. 3 times 11 is 33, but it's 3 tens, so that's 330. And we've added one more. Well, 1 times 11 is just 11. And now we can do this with mental math. 330 plus 11 would be 341. Awesome. I think that'll do it for us. That's the last problem for tonight's homework. I wish you the best of luck in doing yours. Stick with it. We're using unit form here, doing some drawings. This is not the way we normally do multiplication, but it'll help you when we get to multiplication. So stick with it. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.